Hi there. Okay, so I have my Canva app open with my digital planner. And on the right, you see this podcast icon sticker. I created this yesterday with a social media post. I'll show you the post. So here's the post that I made yesterday because I'm looking for suggestions for podcasts and I'm in my digital planner. You can see here on the right where I'm posting the suggestions that I get from these um, posts that I put on my page. I put in different groups, etc. And the question now came is how did I make the sticker that you see right here in my digital planner? So I thought let's quickly walk through Canva I'm not going to teach you how to use Canva right here. I'm just going to recreate this sticker and let you look over my shoulder as I create it. So when I'm in the Canva app, the first thing I'm going to do is create a design. You see here this big purple button that Canva has here. You can't miss it. Create a design. And I'm just going to click on logo right here. You can you can uh, select these options that they give you or you can do custom size. When I'm doing one sticker like this, I'm just going to go into logo and I'm going to make the screen bigger for you. And one of the things that's really cool about just this one step is, you know, you can see that I already searched something on podcast yesterday yesterday because it's in my recently used. But if you didn't have that, you could just type here in the search bar, search bar podcast. And you guys, look at that. I mean, you could use any of these. Now, I'm using this for my own personal use. So I'm not telling you to go and take these and do anything with them. This is for me in my planner. It's all personal use. This one here is really cool too. I didn't use this yesterday, but that's really cool. Um, but let's go and let's go back to my recently used. So I'm going back right here into recently used and you can see that this podcast sticker is the one that I use. So I'm going to close my side panel and just show you exactly how I did this. So I removed and just dragged off of my page the text because I don't want the text and I sized it as large as I can within this um, logo dimension. I think it was 500 by 500. So I'm going to make it and I'm just dragging the um, image with my mouse. You can see I'm getting the pink uh, crosshairs to tell me when I'm centered. And then I now get it just quickly. I mean, you guys look at that. Just that black and white would be so great. And one suggestion that I have is keep the original and duplicate the page before you start mocking it up with your own color so that you can always quickly go back to page one and see how the original looked. So I'm gonna use the plus sign right here in the upper right corner and duplicate my page. Now I can start playing with the colors and I'm going into my click to plan brand colors and I, I love that already. I mean, oh my goodness, that is so stinking cute. Now I'm gonna go into the lighter gray and I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna leave the inside of the um, microphone white, but now I'm gonna duplicate it again and I'm going to ch put color inside the, so if I wanted this to be, um, that looks so great like that. Let's change the, let's make it more like this and let's go, if I wanted to make it my dark, that is so cool. Okay, again, great sticker right there. And then this is what I used yesterday. So let's just use these two right here. And so let's just say I'm done, I'm ready to go, and I'm going to download now. In the upper right corner, you see the button share. That's a little bit misleading. Um, you know, before we share, I want to title this because I want my download to have the, the right title. So I do everything this way. You can use your file naming system, whatever works for you. Okay, and I'm going to even tell it in the upper left corner where I want this project to be in my Canva. So I always save to a folder. I don't always, but I, I try to as most as often as I can. It helps me stay organized in Canva. So I'm going to save to a folder. 
and you can see it has projects and I already have this in here and I know so if I just start typing it's going to go to my stickers I say I want it right here and I now have saved this into the folder my stickers right there all right now let's download again it's a little misleading click the share button in the upper right corner and that then opens up the download panel. I'm going to toggle open download and I don't want the first one. I only want page two and page three and actually I only want page two. So let's open this up and I can unselect all and I can now just select current page, page two. You can see that right here. Here's my page two and transparent background. You have to have the Canva Pro. You guys, I've said this so many times. It is worth every penny to be in Canva Pro. So click on my affiliate link. If you don't like to use affiliate links, I don't care. Just get in and try Canva. You get a free trial, I think for 30 or 45 days. They change up what you, how many days you get, but it doesn't matter. Try it for the 30 or more days. You will agree with me. It's worth every penny. So you have to have the Canva Pro that you can see that icon right here tells you it's a pro feature to have transparent background. If you don't have pro, you're going to have the white background. That may not be a deal breaker for you if you're always placing it on a white um, digital planner page, but I highly recommend all of the pro features. So you have to have a PNG to have transparent, which I have PNG selected. I have transparent background. I'm leaving it at the 500 P um, pixel size. And now I'm clicking download. Okay. And then they just give you these little pop-ups for their little commercials. Just tap, tap off. And then now over here, you can see in my finder, I have this download and you see how it's labeled, how we labeled the project. That's why I wanted to rename it really quick before we downloaded it. So now I'm going to open up my GoodNotes app. I'm on my laptop because it's easier for me to record, but everything you're seeing here, I normally do this on my, um, my iPad pro, but you can do this. And I have GoodNotes open on my laptop all day long. Um, and it just is so quick for me to video and share like this with you. Um, but again, you can do all of this on your iPad. So Let's duplicate this page in my good notes, um, right here, my favorite podcast. Let's, let me back out just really quick. If I go to the check mark in the footer, this is the contents page of my strong planner. I can go right into the, uh, favorite podcast. This is a quick link, or I can open up the play dashboard. This has got all of my adventures and um, vacations and happy hour. It's all the play area um, of my life. And so let's click on the link now for favorite podcast. And here we go. This is the page we're going to duplicate and show you how I did this. So in the upper right corner, I'm going to click on that plus sign and I'm going to duplicate my current template. And so now this is what we're duplicating. So we're going to put this white background in and cause I'm kind of making my one page into two. So right now, these are the main podcasts that I listen to and you can see their marketing and technology so heavily business related. And we're going to start traveling again next week. And I thought, you know, we've listened to so many audiobooks. Now let's listen to some podcasts. So I wanted a place to put suggestions. So I put this white bar with text and this icon, and you can now see that I'm kind of making a new page inside my planner. So how I did that is using my lasso tool, I just made a circled white, tap it for my screenshot, click my up arrow, and I'm going to now... If you're on your iPad, you can just push copy, but on your laptop, you can save it to your photos. Okay. And I've done that. I'm going to push cancel and go into the image, um, icon on your toolbar right here. And the very last thing saved is that white box. And look at how you get the handles. 
Okay, you can size this anything you want. So what we just took a screenshot of is now turned into an image and I'm going to drag it down here. I'm going to make it as wide as I need it. That looks pretty good. Okay. And then now let's drag um, the downloaded podcast planner sticker onto the screen. You can see that plus sign and just drop it. And there is our podcast sticker with transparent background. You can see the lines and you can see the text coming be behind it. So that's perfect. Let's pull in here so you can see it. And let's size that. That looks great. Now let's use our text tool. And we're going to... And I'm going to double click on it because I want to make a fun font. Use a fun font. Use this one here. This is my favorite. One of my top. Okay, that looks great. And while we have it right there, let's change the color. Even though the black looks great with that pink, doesn't it? I mean, you could just leave it just like that. How cool is that? Okay. And I want to... I want to cover up more of the lines right here. I'm just going to show you if I click on the image icon and I click down here, whoops, not there. Let's click, let's click right here. Cause remember that screenshot that to make the white box is considered an image. And so right here are my handlebars that I can use for sizing. So I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger just to make a little bit better detail. I think that looks pretty good. And you'll see how we just made a little bit cleaner. Yeah, that looks great. So now I am ready to go and you can resize this, you know, whatever works for you. If you want to make it big, go for it. It's fun. And so now as I get recommendations, so Sue recommended Food for Thought podcast and Ginger in Digital Planners with Addicts, she recommended 27 Club. And there's many more I need to add in here that look great. I'm, I'm going to check them all out. Um, not all of them. Some of them are way too racy for me, but a lot of them were, looked really good. Um, so now I have this favorite podcast and podcast suggestions. All right, there you go. So I hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions. Happy clicking and planning. Bye, you guys.